something I didn't mention in my last video, if we don't continue with the government's policy of trying to slow the spread of the coronavirus, we're not actually stopping it, but we're going to slow it down, then we don't give our companies enough time to make ventilators. And um, ventilators affect the death rate. So uh, right now, the death rate assumes that people have ventilators at hospitals because there are enough ventilators for people that need them. Um, but if we don't have enough ventilators, the death rate could increase. But at the same time, we don't know what the death rate is because think about it. Um, the death rate is the amount of confirmed cases divided by the amount of deaths. So what's a confirmed case? It means you've taken a test and you've been confirmed to have, you've, you've, and it, we confirmed that you have coronavirus, but um, a lot of people haven't taken a test. Like Greta Thunberg, she never took a test. She got sick, never took a test. Her dad got sick, never took a test. Um, but John Bon Jovi's son got sick, never took a test. A lot of people aren't taking tests. So we don't really know what the, the, the confirmed, we don't know how many people have had COVID-19 yet. Uh, we also don't know how many people have died because right now everyone's kind of hiding out. So you never know who's an old person that's died in their house. Um, you also don't know how many deaths are happening around the world. I mean, um, if there's anywhere in the world that you would not know if someone died from COVID-19, it would be India probably, or nah, probably if there's anywhere in the world you wouldn't know if someone died from COVID-19, it'd be Syria or the Congo. And um, I, I think for a lot of us, um, we think the worst hit places are going to be in Africa and um, countries that have large populations that are spread out or, or that, that have large populations that aren't kept track of.